In order to do this activity, boys and girls, you'll need scissors, glue, your name from your wait for teacher bag that's on black paper, and the strips of paper that are green, yellow, orange, red, and yellow. Before we start, we're going to review our scissor chant. This is our scissors chant, and this helps us remember how to hold our scissors and how to cut with our scissors. So you can say it along with me once you play it and learn it. This is our scissors chant. This is how it goes. Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Fingers on the bottom, thumb on top. Do not let the paper drop. Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Let me show you what that means. So when we open scissors, we open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Fingers on the bottom, I have my fingers on the bottom and my thumb is on top. Make sure your thumb is on the top, not on the bottom. It's hard to hold the scissors like that. So fingers on the bottom, thumb on top. Do not let the paper drop. That means this hand is the, is the driver. This hand is gonna hold the paper. Cause look what happens if I don't hold it. It's hard to cut. So I have to hold it with this hand, drive the paper, and open, shut, open, shut. Do not let the paper drop. And look, this hand just keeps opening and shutting, opening and shutting, and this hand is the driver. If I wanna cut this curly line, I'm going to cut, and this hand is gonna drive. So I'm gonna drive that way, and just keep opening and shutting, and then I'm gonna drive that way. This hand is moving it back and forth. And then I'm gonna drive back that way. And then I'm gonna drive back that way. And if it's still hard for you, that's okay. That's why we're practicing. All right, boys and girls, we're just gonna review our chant before we get started with a really fun project, one of my favorite projects. So if you don't have your scissors in your hand, I want you to practice pretending you have scissors in your hand. So I'm gonna say the chant. Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Fingers on the bottom, thumb on top. Do not let the paper drop. Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. All right, we're gonna get started with a project today and here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your scissors. I got a plate, you don't have to have a plate, but I have a plate because we're gonna make scissors salad. You can do it on your table, but I'm gonna do it on a plate. You also need to go to your wait for teacher bag and you're gonna find these strips of colorful paper. We have green and orange and red and yellow. Get those out. And you also should have a black sheet of paper with your name on it. Go get your materials. Oh, and a glue stick, if you have one. Go get your materials and we'll get started. All right, to get started, today we're gonna to be making a scissors salad. And so the way we're gonna make scissors salad is we're gonna use our good scissors holding, making sure our fingers are on the bottom and our thumb is on top. Now remember, we should not be cutting anything in our house except for the paper that we're given. So please don't cut anyone's hair, don't cut your clothes, or your parents won't let you use the scissors. We have to be responsible kindergartners. So my fingers are ready. I'm gonna start with my green strips of paper. Now this is, I'm gonna pretend that this is lettuce for my salad. And I'm gonna just start cutting straight across. I'm gonna hold it with this hand and cut straight across and cut lots of little pieces of lettuce. You wanna cut them kinda small because we're gonna use them for a project when we're done. So you got some lettuce. What else do you wanna put in your scissor salad, Miss Light? I'm gonna put some carrots. So when I'm done with my green, then I'm gonna cut some carrots for my salad. Same thing, I'm gonna hold it with this hand, cut with this hand, and cut some carrots for my salad. Little pieces. When I finish all of my carrots, 
I think I'm gonna add some tomatoes from my garden. The red is gonna be pretend tomatoes, or it could be red peppers, or it could be salami in your salad. I'm gonna cut some pieces of that. And finally, with my yellow, I'm gonna pretend that the yellow is maybe yellow squash or onions in my salad. Or cheese, I like cheese in oh, my salad. Oh, cheese. All right, so I wanna see you cutting all your pieces into little pieces to make a scissors salad. Once you're done cutting your scissor salad, you're ready for the next step. All right, boys and girls, now that your scissor salad is done, doesn't it look yummy? We can't really eat this kind of salad though, so we're gonna do an art project with it. And remember, we're gonna use our glue stick. Today we talked about some rules about glue sticks, and the rules are the same at home because you're doing schoolwork. We have to be really careful with our supplies because if we don't take care of them, we can't do projects. So remember, when you take the cap off a glue stick, we turn it two times only. So we go one, two only two times you don't want to crank it way up or it'll fall out you don't want to have it mushy on the top so i have two cranks then also remember when we're done we're going to crank it back down and keep the lid on tight because that will keep it dry or keep it from getting dried out and we can use it now today i'm going to crank it up two times one two i have my scissors salad i'm going to move that over here and i have my name written out I'm using a student name. Now today, it would be really hard to put glue on each little piece of paper. So today you're gonna take your glue stick and you see how this name is written? I'm gonna take the glue on only the first letter and I'm gonna write with the glue stick right on the letter. I'm gonna like make a line right over it. I go over it a couple of times to make sure there's plenty of glue. Set my glue aside. And then I'm gonna take little pieces of the paper, could be any color, and I'm going to stick them down right on the glue. And what will happen is, if I keep going, it's going to make a scissors salad letter. It will be very colorful. Now, if you wanna use one color on the first letter and a different color of paper on the next letter, you can do that. I'm just putting all the colors on this one. Now, if you find that the paper's not sticking, you can put a little more glue on the lines to make sure that it will hold your paper. I'm gonna put a little piece of orange, a piece of red, and a piece of yellow. Okay, my first letter is done, and now I go on to the next letter. Remember, don't crank your glue up. I'm gonna draw it right over the letter. So I have a lowercase d here. I'm gonna go around a couple of times on the bottom and down on the side. Then it's ready to start sticking my paper on. Each time you finish a letter, you go on to the next letter. Don't do all the letters because the glue will dry out. All right, boys and girls, I wanted to show you one thing. If your pieces of scissors salad were very big and they didn't really fit on your name, they're too big, you can make them smaller. So you're gonna take your piece and just trim it, cut, 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 and then they're smaller and they'll fit on your letters. So if you, when you cut your pieces, if you cut them too big, just go back and cut them again. It's kind of fun, you can cook with them. Now, the most important part of any project is making sure you're responsible and cleaning up when you're done. Do you see something wrong right here? My glue does not have a cap, my scissors are out, and I need to make sure and take care of all my materials. Now, if I got glue on the table, I should go get a wipe and help my mom or my dad by cleaning it up. We don't wanna leave a mess. Also, my glue cannot sit like this, so I'm gonna crank it back down two times. One, two. I have to make sure the lid is on tight, snap, and this needs to get put away. I need to carry my scissors with the point down like this, put them away. You can make another art project with your leftover salad or you can throw that away. And I would love to see your name in Seesaw. So have your family take a picture of it, upload it to Seesaw, and then hang it on your wall, it's beautiful.